Okay, so factorizing this here, um, you need to multiply add. Okay, now in this case, because it's 21 at the front, 21 times then that n number, so we minus 21, and you've got to add up then to give the 4 there, right? So um, two brackets, 21x in both brackets. Okay, two numbers are multiplied to give 21, uh, 7 and 3, I think we did one similar to this earlier, and then of course you've got to add up to give 4, so that'll be minus 4 there, all right? So we're going to have plus 7 uh, minus 3, okay? Now you need to divide, right? Because you times by 21, you need to um, divide by 21 to sort of pay back. Now in this case here, in the first bracket, 7 is a common factor, so that'll be 3x plus 1. And this bracket here, 3 is a common factor, so that'll be 7x minus 1, okay? All over 21. Okay, so the 7 times 3, that will cancel with 21. So you end up having 3x plus 1, 7x minus 1. Okay, and it does say then, hence solve equals to 0. So put it equals to 0. So then 3x plus 1 equals to 0, which means x will equal, 3x will equal minus 1, when it? So x will equal minus a third. Or then, run as a room here, 7x minus 1 equals 0. So 7x is 1, so x will be 1 seventh. Part B then, factorise this. Now remember this idea where there's no x, there's zero x. You can go through this long process if you want, okay? Or you can look for square numbers, yeah? And these are square numbers, aren't they? 64 is 8 squared. Can you see that's a square number, 49? It's 7, isn't it? It's a 7x. So basically, difference of two squares. So what do you square to get this? 7x, okay? And what do you square to get this? 8. So the two brackets, the 7x and 8 in, One's a plus, one's a minus, right? You can put minus there and plus there if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, then it says, hence simplify. Well, you know it's come in. The top there you've already done. Okay. Over 7x minus 8. You can see then these will cancel because they divide each other. And you get that as your answer.